on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Himiko, what do you think you're doing? Hey. It's not her fault. This is how, this is how she is. Come on. Here we go. Uh, I, 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 can I? Yes. And then... Yes, she starts looking easy as blood. But they, they notice something. She slowly starts to shift and change into Izuku. So, wait, what the? Is this my? Looks like you got your quirk, kid. <sighs> really? I. That's awesome. Wait, so. My quirk has something to do with blood? Do you think that's why? Maybe. Maybe not. It really depends. Uh, thank you. Of course. No, no problem. As for you two. What's with the whole... But you didn't want her to scare anyone wrong. I heard of your family, I know of it. Yeah, quite the social standing in your daughter. This little quirk, at least her tendencies would have caused a bit of a damper, wouldn't they? Uh, uh, you know what? Doesn't matter. Not at all. I will give you a choice. Raise Himiko right. Don't tell her to deny who she is. Or else I will raise her myself. And she'll become greater without you. And the amount of social standing you have now will be nothing compared to what she gains. Uh, uh, wait, you can't just... Well, let's leave that up to Toga. Or, depending on her choice, Midoriya. So you won't force me to... To stop if you are fine with getting a more willing source and you're not wanting to hurt anyone what you don't have to hurt people to get blood I mean you could get donations or heck even ask me as you can see I I got some despair uh, her looking at her parents and back at Izuku okay uh, I choose you alright I guess that's that wait Himiko you can't just aw oh. Who you trying to fool? You you probably would have just abandoned her as soon as she, she couldn't take any more of this. Uh, it does take a while after everything is pretty much to do all the legal work and whatnot. But huh, soon enough, yes, Himiko is. Yeah, she's legally Izuku's daughter. 
<sighs> hey, I, I would like you to meet someone. Two someones, actually. You're not giving me away, are you? Oh, of course not. You're my little girl now. Right, no roommate? Mm, right. <sighs> it is kind of weird, though. I mean, your quirk, it may be a little concerning, but at the end of the day, it is very versatile. And imagine if you could copy quirks. Whew. Believe me, she'd be a powerhouse. <laughs> Thank you, easy... Dad? <laughs> yeah, no problem, dear. So who are we meeting? Some friends of mine. As yes, this is when Izuku meets up with one <laughs> Mitsuki Bakugo and one Inko Midoriya. As yes, the, uh, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, it has. How's muscular doing? Uh, he's good. He's, if anything, patching him up after his little fights can be a hassle, but he's doing all right. That's good to know. So, how's Katsuki? He's he's good. He's he's doing great. What about Izuku? <laughs> you know, Izashi is still upset that I named him after you. Hmm. I just can't believe he actually wanted a DNA test. Yeah. If anything, I could see why he would say that, but... Eh, it doesn't matter. So how's he? He's overseas. Really? I wonder what he's up to. How's Masaro? Well, he just got promotion and whatnot, so things are looking great. Huh. Yeah, that's nice. Hmm. So what kind of quirk do you think you're going to get, Katsuki? Hmm. Don't know. What about you, Izuku? I hope it's my dad's quirk. Fire breathing, huh? Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter what quirk you have. I'm sure you can become a great hero regardless. Hmm. But what if I don't get a strong quirk? Eh. Doesn't matter. Hmm. Wait, what? Yeah, to me it doesn't matter at least. Heck, you could be quirkless for all I care. I, I didn't know for a fact that you could become a great hero. Really? Yeah. Heck, just take my friend, Aizawa. He's practically quirkless. Uh, eraser head, right? Bingo. You see, what makes his quirk so special is that not only does it make his opponents quirkless, but he is technically already quirkless himself. He is technically lay, leveling the playing field. Like, say, if his opponents don't have quirks, that means he could be straining his eyes for nothing unless he knows this to be a fact. 
but he does train himself a great deal. Hmm. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Oh, but what if I don't have a quirk? I can't really... Oh, no, you can believe me. If anything, make sure that you'll become a brat or anything. Be, be humble. Because if you have a quirk or quirk list, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day... You're still human. You should treat people like you want to be treated. Just because you have a great, powerful quirk does not mean you become arrogant. Those who do could just be swept aside by someone more powerful. Huh. Why aren't you the number one hero? Uncle Izuku. Hmm. Maybe because I'm a bit too rough with the villains and whatnot. That's probably the reason why for that. Hmm. So I can be rougher with villains. I just gotta be more of a crowd pleaser and such. Well, technically, yes, but... If anything, like I said before, treat her like you want to be treated. You guys are practically cousins. I'm still surprised you, you two kept in touch. Hmm. Well, that's maybe because never be made a personal mission for us to make sure that we behave ourselves really <laughs> what if so how's your little girl well if anything she's at home with her grandparents if anything we want Toka to pretty much Relax, or get more used to Izuku and Katsuki here. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Well, we'll be off. Let's go, Himiko. All right. As several other years go by. And the younger Izuku, or past Izuku, is now 14. He's been diagnosed quirkless. He hasn't been bullied. In fact, Katsuki, this, this version, actually encourages Izuku. In fact, trains with him. And thanks to the younger Izuku's analytical mind and all his ideas, Katsuki's quirk is a lot more efficient as well as finding other applications for it. Like if he sets off smaller explosions constantly, not only can that have him create a stage stream of sweat, but also helps him strengthen his bones. And when it comes to doing that for other people, when he lowers the setting, he actually becomes a good massage therapist if need be. Not to mention he helps Izuku when it comes to fighting people who have quirks and <laughs> bone strengthening training is a must for both of them. <sighs> it's almost time. Yes, it is. Seriously, I can't believe Kira. Huh? Well, she is planning on going to UA. But I can't believe her quirk is so interesting. How so? All it is is a gas emitter quirk. 
extend with the whole fact she can oh yeah cause tentacle explosions when she ignites it with her fire breath but seriously when Inko saw the fire breath she was just like what yeah I, I saw her reaction and she she even accused you like yeah and I assured her that that wasn't happening yeah if anything, it's kind of weird how some courts can evolve. Yeah, no kidding. So how are you doing, Nana? Still having trouble with this Nomu body. <laughs> Well, considering that that was all for one's last ditch effort to try to get any reverence of one for all, <laughs> yeah, I can see why it would be difficult. You shouldn't expect you to legit take over your body. <laughs> yeah, it was weird for me too. Do you remember how scared Tenko and the others were? Oh yeah, they, they they were beyond terrified when you started fanning in and out like that. At the very least, you're technically still a part of me. Only thing is, you have your own body to do whatever you want with. And Toshinori, yeah, he's still weird about it, especially considering how we left things. Yeah. As then Kira shows up. Yes, yeah, Izuku's daughter by midnight. So, you ready? Huh? Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Huh. Good. You brush your teeth? Yeah. Come here? Uh-huh. Did you clip your tail? Yeah. <sighs> okay, what's got you distracted? What? What's got you distracted? Come on. Uh, it's nothing. I just been hanging out with Kotsky, Himiko, and he's... Izuku. Oh. <laughs> really? Izuku, huh? Yeah. What? what what's that? Uh, I just think our daughter ha may be uh, a little bit smitten with the young Izuku. Huh? Uh, you have no idea what... You don't know what you're talking about, Mom. There's no way in hell. We, we uh, grew up uh, together, and uh, there's no way that ha that could... Um, what? Yeah, first I was... Okay, fine. I was a little put off at first. Considering that you two technically shared a name, but Izuku is something special, Dad. What? I'm just saying. I'm. I was thinking about his birthday is coming up soon enough, so I think I'll tell him how I've heard the hell you are. What? What? You are not allowed to date Izuku Madoya. Well, why? Izuku, what's what's wrong? Why why are you trying to forbid her from dating Inko's boy? Oh, I. Go. 
Gather up, everyone. I mean, a muscular endeavor, all of them. I got, I gotta tell y'all something. What, what's wrong? I gotta tell y'all something very important before something unimaginable happens. Uh, okay. Miski. Like, what is that? Like, I'm tired. Oh, come, come on. It's been two months since you given birth. Yes, and I need my rest. <sighs> Fine, whatever. Just gather up. Just call everyone. Call Inko. Call everybody, I guess. <sighs> okay, we're here. Now what? Okay. You see, I'm from the future. Huh? I'm from the future. <laughs> that's, that's very funny. <laughs> As then I was like, no, he's telling the truth. What? <sighs> I am a part of one for all. I still am, right, Toshi? Wait, you mean Dad's quirk? Yes, Koski. She's part of my quirk too, son. What? You, you guys are joshing us. You're, you're, you're just kidding, right? Let's do a DNA test between me and Izuku. Upon getting the results, seeing that it's a perfect match, it's like, yo, even the people was like, next time send us two different DNA samples. What? Kira was like, wait, so, Dad, Izuku, you two are the same person? Yep. So I was... I was gonna... Yep. Oh, oh God. No. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please, no. Yeah. I'm sorry. What were you going to tell us? I was hoping I would never have to. I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping to keep this a secret. So, if it wasn't for our daughter... Yeah... Just as all you probably still wouldn't have known. It's Mitsuki... You know what I mean? No... Oh, oh my god. Yeah... Ego chiming in, so, wait, are you saying when me and Misi were hitting on you, when I was about to kiss, yeah, you're my, uh-huh, oh dear god, <laughs> oh no, 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 hey, this isn't something I want to, this, not, this isn't something that brings me the most joy either. Oh, oh, oh no, this, you don't understand. Miski, your room is just, well, we're going to jail. Like, what, what? If anyone ever plans on doing a DNA test or a blood sample or whatnot about our kids and that boy, we are going to jail. You know what? Toshinori, just, just slap the cuffs on us. We, we are going to jail. <sighs> I can't believe this. Another one for all user right under my nose. How did I not see this? <sighs> well, in your defense, when I use Black Whip with Float, 
I do, it does look like, well, I make it look like I'm actually flying when really I'm just floating and using the wings, you know. Wait, that explains how you knew to push me out of the way of that falling rock that almost crushed me. Yep. And you telling me to expel my whole class just to have them try again later just to show them, yep. Oh my god. So, wait. Tell me more. Tell us more about the future. No! Wait, what are you talking about, Toshi? No, we should not know anything else. Learning that... Who... How... Learning how, uh... Connected... These two Izukus are. That was enough. Huh. Wait, so you could use 100% overall, correct? Yep. Huh. Y uh, young Midoriya. Yes. Not you, bastard. I mean, I'm sorry. No, no, no. It, 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 it's perfectly fine. So, um, young Midoriya. How much one for all can you use? Um, 15%. I don't want to risk hurting myself. Okay. Oh dear God, this is... I mean... How much have you really changed? Well, well I, in my timeline, uh, Nurumi's dead. As are you lose an eye. And over, I'm dead too, aren't I? Yep. Uh, Toshi, you suffer a near life threatening injury, which not only weakens you, but cuts back on how long you can stay as a hero. <sighs> no. Yeah. Can't believe this. You, you've changed so much. Well, considering that her dying is in the future, when I turned sixteen, or so. Yes. What? Yeah, you risk your life to try to stop Giganto Maki. Who's that? Uh, you know, the big guy who who gets stronger or so with his convictions of what's not in his endurance. And him? He kills me? Yes, but he's just, he's like a puppy. Yeah. What else did you change? Okay, you guys might want to sit down. Upon the whole explanation of everything that's happened, that is history to Izuku, but futures shit to them, and somewhat past. Yeah, they're like... Oh my god. So this all happened because you... Yeah, I somehow went back in time when... Eri was using her portal. Well, at least, no, Kodagiri was using a portal. Or was that all for one? I forgot. It's been so long. And either way, Eri's whole rewind thing combined in a very interesting way. It, it was like, type thing. I did not expect that. <sighs> so. That kid literally is partially the cause of our lives being the way they are. I mean, before, people thought I was like, what? Uh, 
you know, you were called the X-rated hero, and yeah, the way you dressed sure as hell fit the title. What? Oh yeah, your costume was skin tight, and it was not difficult for you to remove a thing. Oh, what's wrong, Kira? Oh, God, I do not need to hear that. Well, she had fans. Yeah, I bet she did. No, oh, Dad, what the hell? Sorry about anything. At least you guys know. Them just glaring daggers at him. And then a portal opens up. It's like, wait, who's doing this? As, yes, a older... Airy, as well as everyone else, show up and say, we've, we've come to save you. What is this? Everyone looking and seeing the Oracle just running in to hug Izuku. Like, yeah, she tackles him into a hug. But then, it's like, Dad, who is this? Dad. Her looking at the little girl, then looking at Izuku, then Ru like, what the fuck is going on? This is Bongo's words. And it's like, Katsuki? Oh, hey, Mom, wait, what are you doing here? As he sees that she's holding a baby. He's like, then she sees the hints of green in the hair. And he looks at the younger version of himself. Then he's like, what the fuck? Then seeing him go, then seeing muscular with both his eyes, and it's like, what the fuck is going on? It's like, well, how shy? It's been. <clears throat> It hasn't even been 16 years yet. I know, but what did you do? Baraka, what does what does she mean by Papa? I mean, Dad, what is what she... Why does that one look like you? Why, why does this little girl look like you? Why is Himako here? Dad... She's calling you dad too? Oh, you have some explaining to do. Mina's like, yeah, let's spill everything. I I want to hear this. Hagakure's like, yes, please. Well, um, Mamo, can you please prepare the tea? Because this. Mina's like, it seems like Yuzuku's prepared plenty enough for everybody.